what if one of your favorite influencers is the one that is trying to scam you? This is what we're going to tackle in today's video, starting with the notorious Logan Paul. Known for his high-profile YouTube channel and various scandals, he made his debut into the cryptocurrency space in 2021. It was during this time that he unveiled CryptoZoo which was supposed to be this groundbreaking blockchain-based project that tried to intertwine the compounding interest and wealth of cryptocurrency with the excitement of gaming. The whole thing was centered around a token called the Zoo Token, which was complemented by the purchasable eggs that would eventually hatch into creatures capable of generating it while not having finished it at all for the last six months i've been working on my own nft project that uh, i believe is going to change the game september 1st cryptozoo.co i'm going to tease it that's all i'm going to say about it now fast forward to launch day and the zoo token immediately crashed to no one's surprise resulting in a complete loss for investors who have put their money into it Furthermore, the eggs that people had acquired turned out to be non-viable. In other words, they did not hatch, rendering the token worthless. So how did this happen? Going back and looking at the team behind this project, we can see that most of them already had a questionable history, as up until now they've engaged in fraudulent activities and were proven to be serial liars. That is especially true for Eddie Ibanez. The guy pretended to have a degree from MIT, said he was involved in the Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl victory, and even lied about being an orphan. The rest of the team comprised of Logan Paul, his manager Jeff Levin, and Jake Greenbaugh, who goes by the name of the Crypto King. With this team of misfits, it's only natural to assume that this project would fail. As soon as the token crashed, Eddie Ibanez and Jake the Crypto King wasted no time in selling off the majority, if not all, of their tokens, therefore effectively doing a pump and dump. Finally, Given that Logan Paul did not have any coding experience, for him to create this project, he had to outsource the dev work and hire developers, only to not pay them a dime. See, it reached a point where one coder held the project's code hostage, demanding $1 million in unpaid fees just because Logan Paul kept on delaying the payments and at some point just stopped paying them altogether. So, in short, Everyone who bought into this got scammed. They did not get their money back. Jake and Eddie Ibanez both heavily benefited from the whole ordeal by selling all of their tokens and cashing in. And Logan Paul promised he'd do a refund. And you might say, well, uh, there you go. Problem solved. But it's been over a year. And no one got their money back. This scandal was brought to light by the YouTuber CoffeeZilla in a three-part investigation series which you can check out through the links down below in the description, and I highly recommend that you do, because without him, none of this would have come to light. What are you friends with Conor McGregor? Where is he, by the way? Where's Coach McGregor, and why won't he take my bet? Why won't he take my million dollar bet? Why won't you pay back to people for CryptoZoo? I'm working on it, Dylan. It's also worth mentioning that Logan Paul's brother, Jake Paul, has been involved in his fair share of scams. In fact, he basically did the same thing that CryptoZoo did. Only this time, instead of animals, it was recolored fake Pokemons. It's great to be a part of this project. I love the designs inspired by Pokemon, the whole nine yards. Me, personally, I'm gonna try to get a legendary during the public mint. But y'all better not miss this. Be ready for the mint. The project's name was Animoon, and it presented us with NFT pieces like this one. You can imagine how this went. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and be part of our scam fighting community.